Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, so today we're down at a little uh, freshwater creek. We're gonna do some uh, fishing with some worms and some lures. Hopefully we're gonna catch like a Australian bass or one of those eel tail catfish. Maybe do a catch and cook, see what happens. But yeah, sure it'll be a pretty good day. And I got my mates over here. Uh, Asho is already in the water. And then we got Eli over there. His channel is Fishing for Days if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description for that. So yeah, should be a good day. You. Uh, so Eli's just got the GoPro, so we can get a couple of like GoPro shots if the fish come and bite. That'll be pretty sick. So this is the bait for today. It's some little earthworms that we picked up uh, from the cow paddocks this morning. Just digging under some cow poons. Nice fresh worms in there for the fish. Okay guys, so the bait we're using today is just some earthworms. So you just thread it on the hook. Like so. Like that. And then you cast it out. And we're going to try and get some bass and catfish. It's like that. Oh man, but. Oh Eli, got one! He got yeah. one! Eli's rod was just going off, so he's just gonna check it, see if the fish is still there. Ah, uh, it got off. That's a good sign, they know they're biting, so gonna keep trying this location, see if we can get a bite. Ash has just got, oh, oh damn it, just came off, unlucky, you'll get yeah, another one. That was a good fish, Asher. Uh, second fish that's just got off today, but hopefully we'll hook one up soon. So with the boys uh, getting a couple of bites with the worms, I thought I'd like mix it up and try a, a lure, see if that would make a difference. going to use my reliable little spinner worm that always does the trick yep so i'll tie that one on and hopefully we can get a good fish that spot was well, wasn't too bad you know we've got a, two bites so we're just gonna keep on walking and find a new spot to fish at okay guys so we're moving locations we didn't have any luck at the last spot. Chuck our stuff across and then try and jump. Three, two, one. Oh, I just made that. So we're at spot number two. It's just this little uh, closed in little creek system just behind me. The boys are just chucking some worms out, hopefully getting a bite, but for now, it's pretty quiet so we'll give it some time. Yep. Oh yeah he's got one. Nice. There we go. I've got one guys. Oh. Oh, it's a turtle. Got a little turtle. Pretty clear you got a turtle. <laughs> 
And there goes the turtle just releasing him now. There you guys. <laughs> you right? Yeah. <laughs> right, that's one way to cross the river. <laughs> Hate to. Lift it up. Yes. Oh, you got one? No, we got one. Cool, we got a little bait trap full of bread and catching little minnows in the creek. No, Let's see what good. they look like. They're the type of fish that we're catching. After a couple of flicks at the little creek, we're just gonna stop and have a snack. Some chip sandwiches, some Old bread. Speed. Yep. You guys ever had a chip sandwich before? Uh-uh. No? no? Just put like chips on it and then you like make some bread. Good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a good chip sandwich, look at that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So we moved on to another spot, uh, just further down the creek more. And I remember back when I used to be at this spot, we used to catch heaps of bass and eel tail catfish. There was heaps of trees, but now it's all been cut down. Just not very good, you know? It's destroying the habitat for these creek creeks. It's also destroying the fish's home, so it's not very good. Hopefully they plant some more trees back and we'll keep walking. So you can see how much of the trees they've actually cut down in this uh, little creek system that we used to fish at. So it's all pretty much all open now and there's only just like a couple of trees it's down in the creek here. Not really much so it's not looking very good for our little local creek system. Pretty shallow. So the camera wasn't rolling just then but Ash had just caught a nice little bass. So I was just using some worms. He hooked up to a nice one. Can I stick it? Nice one. How big do you reckon that is, Asha? Uh, don't know. We, yeah, probably about that. Nice Small one. Small little bass. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Kevin, you ready? Listen to me, don't the money. Cool. <laughs> nice one, Asha. First little, first little bass for the little trip. Nice one, Asher. You. <laughs> so I'm currently fishing here with Eli, who has a fishing channel called on YouTube called Fishing for Days. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll leave a link in the description. So that's the one of the boys I'm fishing with. And then I've got little Asher down here who just caught the bass. So nice little start to the morning. Ashes just the drum. Oh, an eel tail catfish. Oh, sweet. We've got an eel tail catfish. That's just come off the spine. hook. Oh, nice one. Nice. It's a big one. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys, so with this massive eel tail catfish, Ash just caught using the worms. We'll be um, doing a catch and cook with it, so we'll take it home, cook it up, 
and we should hopefully have a nice feed and we'll just humanely kill it right now. So we've just made like a little closed off area to keep the catfish nice and fresh in the water so it won't float away. So se second fish today, a pretty big eel tail catfish. It's just down in there. So we're gonna cook this one up for like a catch and cook type thing. That was the second fish caught on worms by Asher. Nice one. <laughs> so we'll just continue fishing and see what else we can get. How's your day been, Eli? Oh, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Haven't caught that much, but should uh, get better. I I'm sure you'll get something. Yes, yeah. this place, place looks pretty promising. In summer, this is a wicked place for bass. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Especially like when it rains. Yeah, and all filled. the food comes up. Yeah. Oh well, nice little spot. That's where we caught the catfish, so we'll keep going. Okay, so this is a nice eel tail catfish after caught before using the worm. So I'll show you how to fill it and skin it. You have to skin it because they have really nasty skin. It's, it's like slimy and disgusting, so you have to make sure you skin it. So we're just going to show you how it's all done, cutting into fillets, and then we're going to cook it back at the house later. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is stick the knife straight in here, cut in, and then run the knife against the backbone all the way along the fish. Okay, so you just cut along. Eel tail cabbage can be quite good eating if you get rid of the skin. They're pretty hard to feel it as well because they're all slimy. Do it this way. Cut along. Like that. And then once you have your fillet, just cut down here. So here's one fillet done. They're extremely hard to feel, as I was saying, because they're really slimy and the, their tail is very thin. So, but there's one fillet, and let's do the other one. So while we were filleting this fish, um, an eel tail catfish just yep. got onto the line of this fish. So it's, there we go, another one. Another nice catfish. Nice. He could have easily pulled my rod in. Didn't even know I had one on. There's another big one. You guys hungry? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Not for two. Third fish of the day, wow. Another catfish. And there's their release. Off he goes. Back out into the water. Nice, Eli. Thanks, mate. <laughs> my first fish of the day. Okay, so I now skin it run the knife uh, vertically along the skin all the way like that and you have a nice skinless fillet that can be used as eel bait or just chuck in the water and the crayfish whatever in the water will eat that so it's cool and the same as the carcass of the Catfish eel. Okay, so here's the two beautiful fillets I got off that eel child catfish. They're not the best of fillets because it was like really hard to fill it, probably the hardest thing I've ever filleted. So here they are and here is the carcass. So as you can hear, there's not that much meat left on that. There's a bit but it's not heaps. So I'll just chuck that back and the eels and crayfish will eat that. And the same with the skin. Chuck the skin back. Like that. And same with the fillets. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a nice little meal that we've just caught from a catfish. Um, so, what do you reckon, guys? We're still going to fish or are we going to head back now? Head back, probably, and cook them up. All right. So, we're heading back now. We've got about a 5k walk to go, so we better start going so we can do a cook up. Yeah, so we don't want to start walking when it gets night time. So, no. we're going to pack up and start walking. Ash has got one. Right, uh, no. Ash is getting bite. No. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Just let the catfish go, and now we have two nice fillets of the other catfish that we caught. Now we're just gonna 
take it back to the house, cook it up, and see what it tastes like. So we just spotted an eel just right there, and the boys are trying to catch with a worm. I think it's going to Asha, do you want to grab your rod? Oh, he's turning. He's playing. He's playing. He might come back. So we're heading back after a big day of fishing down at the Freshwater Creek, down our local area. Um, the boys did pretty well. Uh, Asha got a bass and a catfish, which we are going to cook up and eat. And then Eli just caught a Another catfish, just just recently. So now we're just walking back, and we saw uh, a big eel too. We were trying to catch that, but unfortunately, it just swam away. But yeah, now we're just walking back, walking back home, crossing rivers. Good fun. <laughs> Okay guys, so earlier today, Asha caught this nice eel tail catfish using some worms. So for this recipe, you'll need a damn lemon, uh, matches to light your camping stove or if it's electric start, that's good. Uh, butter, an egg, salt, pepper, and some bread crumbs. Yeah, so first thing is get a knob of butter and pop it in the pan, just like that. Okay, so the first thing is you light the stove using a match, like that. So that's a light. And you, so you put your butter on your pan, then put the egg in. Yeah, so next, we didn't bring a bowl because they're out in the bush, so we don't need a bowl. But, let's crack an egg. <laughs> Not like that, that's shattered, but it's fine. Let's get the egg shell out. Give it a good mix. Then get your egg, dip the fish in the egg that and get the breadcrumbs Zach's doing now and just pour it straight on top of it yep like that and then on the other side perfect so now our pan's getting nice and hot as you can see. And put the and then you catfish fillet on. Put the catfish fillet in. So now you do the other one. Egg crum crumbs. Yeah, the other side. Good? Yep, like that. Sweet. And get all the butter in it. Get it nice and butter and caramelized. Like that. You just let that sizzle and then in about a minute we'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now the damn lemon. So <laughs> cut it in half. squeeze on. Not too much, otherwise it'll get, they'll all disappear from the heat of the pan. And you cook it down a bit. 
Now we can probably flip it. Just grab the knife. Oh, Look that's at that. Really good. All brown and delicious. Do the same on the other side. Oh. Bit of salt and pepper. Take match. Take the lid off. And the salt. Check that. That's really good. The fish is nearly done. Take Sweet. it off the heat. Yum. Yum. Lemon. Salt and pepper. Salt. Pepper. <laughs> this is smelling really good. So as you can see, it's really nice and caramelized and brown. Hopefully that will taste real good. Okay, let's dig in. Mm. That's real good. Wow, that's really good. Oh. That's actually Ooh. really good. Yum. You actually want to try this bit? Oh, yum. Really lemony and yummy. That's really good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> You had bone? I think it got some guts or something in there. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't tasting very good. You should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this eel take tail catfish actually tastes pretty good. Like for a catfish that lives in muddy water. Yeah. Yum. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go guys, that's the catch and cook of the eel mm. tail catfish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm. Now uh, that finger licking good time yeah. comes. Make sure to check out uh, Eli's channel called fishing for days i'll leave a link in the description so make sure you check that one out and stay tuned for the next vlog um should be out soon so thanks guys hope you guys enjoyed this video see you soon